Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Courtney Anderson and this is Everyday Anderson. I'm excited because I just got my new order from Grove Collaborative that I'm gonna be sharing with you. But not only that, I'm gonna be cleaning the refrigerator and the oven today. I don't clean the oven too often and so this is gonna be very special and not only clean you guys, I'm talking about getting it brand new which involves some screws coming loose and a screwdriver. We already started last night. I'm gonna be showing you that video and also doing some oven cleaner that we let sit overnight. So I'm really excited. So let me show you what I got from Growth Collaborative. Okay, so the first thing I got are dish sponges. I have to have those to clean the dishes. This is the Creamy Baking Soda Cleanser by Mrs. Myers. I'll be using that. The Peppermint Dish Soap that was sold out a few weeks ago. I was happy to have that. Also, I got the Multi-Surface Cleaner and Basil and also some dish soap and basil because we wash dishes a lot. And also, I got some hand sanitizer. You guys can't have enough of that these days. Also, this is some carpet refresher. I'll be using that soon, but not today. Day. Also, this is the Squirt and Ma Almond Wood Floor Cleaner, guys. That works so good. This was my first time using it, and you'll see. Also, I didn't remember what this was, but this was a soap dish that you actually put the soap and water in, and it springs up the soapy water so that you don't have to keep putting soap out of the bottle, which uses up a lot of your dish soap. Also, we got some tree-free bamboo paper towels. They claim that they don't have to actually kill the whole tree, and the price is pretty comparable to the store, so I did go ahead and buy some more of those also this is some hand soap that I'm gonna be putting in the bathroom you guys and some lip balm that was free so we'll get started I'm gonna start cleaning up some dishes and getting some of that out of the way so I have to start with a clean sink because I'm going to be not just wiping down the refrigerator I'm going to be trying to get this thing like brand new you guys so this is going to involve pulling out shelves oh and this is the Caldria I forgot to mention that this is the Caldria gilded balsam birch that I bought I think it's a limited time seasonal smell you guys are so aromatic I have the candle and also I bought the room spray and I freshen up before my husband gets home some days or even when I'm cleaning up in the house and it just smells so good um, but like I was saying I'm gonna be taking out shelves and getting those clean today so I have to make sure this sink is just all the way together before I can do any of that Now I'm going to spray on some Easy Off Oven Cleaner that I put on here just to make sure it was nice and soaked. I did this last night as well, but never too much because I want to make sure it's clean. The Weissman Cooktop Cleaner Kit, and I'll be using that. That came in really handy to get that stove like brand new because today is not just a wipe down. Today is getting everything like brand new, you guys. And so this takes a little bit of time, but I have to do this every few months to make sure that things are staying clean one of the biggest lessons I had from my first house is that I let things go too long and when it was time to sell the house we spent a lot of time really cleaning things and getting them in order the way we should have for the past few years and so I don't want to do that this time I love this this is our griddle that we got from JC Penny for Black Friday not this year but last year for ten dollars they usually have them for ten dollars on Black Friday and I always feel like I'm working at the Waffle House it's so great and non-stick and I just slide the soapy water and paper towel and it comes clean Okay, so time to get rid of that dirty water and get some fresh water and get ready to tackle this refrigerator and then the oven. You guys, this oven came out so gorgeous. I was so proud of myself. I can't wait for you to see it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment and tell me how often do you clean your refrigerator or your stove. I want to know because like I said, the last time I realized that we were going just way too long. 
if you like some of the products that you saw here from Grove Collaborative, I will be including my link so that you can get a free gift set when you order. That peppermint that I showed you earlier was actually a free gift set earlier this month in December and that sold out you guys but they always have some really nice items available for a free gift set or free items when you purchase and so that's one thing I love about Grove Collaborative. I'm going to start by just organizing this refrigerator and getting rid of all the condiments and leftovers that we're no longer using. So with Grove Collaborative, you guys, you pay a small fee. I believe it's like $20 a year, actually. And it's similar to Amazon where you can make once a month order and they will ship you whatever you need for that month. The thing that I like about Grove compared to Amazon is on Amazon you can find anything but sometimes you can find too many things and you just don't really know what is the best fragrance, the most popular, latest and greatest. The beauty about Grove Collaborative is that they have a smaller selection and all of the items are really good, popular, fragrant items and so you don't have to go wandering through a million items. There's maybe a few dozen to choose from and once you find what you like you get that auto shipped every month and they will remind you that it's time for your shipment and so that's the box that I was opening earlier you guys and I get so excited getting new products, new smells, um, new items just make you a little more motivated to clean up and that's my goal to find motivation for myself and also to help you guys with some motivation as well so I'm just taking out these shelves and getting ready to wipe everything down for most of the day I was using the basil mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner I find that it worked really well in the refrigerator I'm actually I was afraid to take out the glass completely on the refrigerator shelves but what I'm gonna do is flip it over and actually lean the glass up and get all of those crusty crevices that are in there I didn't want to risk breaking anything I think one time I did and I couldn't get it back right um, but it, it wasn't too hard I was just afraid because my husband wasn't around and I didn't want to get too frustrated with it I wanted to go ahead and finish on time and keep up with my schedule for the day so there I am just tilting that glass and wiping all of that crust and grime and it's amazing how much stuff just sits in there you guys I'm sure you know look how beautiful this refrigerator is everyone in my household was saying that the refrigerator looked brighter and I can agree it's like the light just bounces off the clean surfaces in a different way and it was just smelling so nice and so clean and we were so happy to have it clean like this for a few days before we started putting more leftovers in here you guys what do you think leave me a comment and let me know how do you think I did now on to the stove look at all that crust and grime you guys this is actually the night before and I wanted to show you what the process was like to actually take the doors off of the oven it was not hard but I do find that it was better with two people so my husband came down with his screwdriver and we actually are going to separate that outer door and you guys know sometimes when you clean you can't get that inner dirt off because it's actually stuck in the middle of the oven door and so I'm going to be cleaning that today you guys and it came out so beautiful and so be careful because that door did flop down and so we were making sure we didn't crack anything and my husband took the glass off and that's the part that you can never clean just that inner glass door so we're going to be giving the outer glass a nice wipe down and also the inner glass and now I have this small cleaner brush and just some Windex and I'm going to be spraying down this dirt and grime that has just collected in the crevice of this oven door these are the things that you never get to you guys and look at that I started to actually see my reflection in it once I was cleaning it and now I'm going to wipe down the inner door and this is the part that you can never get clean you guys you've got to remove that outer door and I was so proud that we did it and excited to have this finally clean wait till you see this finished product make sure you click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this you guys I can't wait to show some of the DIY projects that we have going on with you all and so we're just screwing this door back on it took two of us to kind of hold it in place and there you go the inner door is clean now it's time to get this soaking and again this was the night before my refrigerator clean so I'm gonna let this soak overnight you guys 
and there we are the next day just scrubbing off all of that dirt and grime I think this was burnt on sugar and my husband put a lot of elbow grease with that Wiseman cooktop kit you guys and it worked beautifully it's basically a razor blade but I love how wide it is and it got a lot of surface area and it was a little bit safer than just using a razor blade look at that gorgeous now I'm going to finish it off and clean the inside. I use that razor blade and the scouring pad that comes in that kit on the inside and I'm just taking off some of those spill marks that are on the door and then I got down and started cleaning the inside. I put a lot of sweat equity into this but the results are just amazing. I made sure to wipe down all those deep crevices as much as I could and look at that. It is sparkling you guys. Can you tell? I can see my reflection. Look how you can actually see the inside of the refrigerator from the outside. Make sure you get that bottom tray. I swept under there, got that nice and clean. Oh my God, you can see the inside, you guys. That was so rewarding for me. So of course, once I saw the progress I was making, I had to make sure that I put all the effort, extra effort into everything, making sure it was nice and clean around all of the corners, crevices of the sink. I got up under there and I'm gonna be using the Creamy Baking Soda Cleanser, you guys, by Mrs. Meyers Clean Day. And I have just recently started using this from Grove Collaborative, you guys. It is the bomb. It will, it's sort of like uh, an abrasive kind of cleaner it almost reminds me of comet that i used to use back in the day but it's in a liquid form so it has that extra abrasiveness that gets that dirt and grime especially off of your stainless steel products or your sinks and it just works wonders i use it for the bathroom as well and i'm going to be bringing you guys a bathroom cleaning video pretty soon make sure you subscribe and hit the bell on the main page if you want to be notified when i do that video but the baking soda cleanser is the bomb I'm making sure that I wipe down everything. Also, I have this garbage disposer cleanser that I got from Amazon. I've never cleaned the garbage disposal before, but there's a first time for everything. And so it actually cleans both sides of the sink. And now that's taken care of for a little while. It comes with two packs, so I'll be using it again. Now I'm going to be sweeping up and mopping is one of the final things that I needed to do this day. I use the squirt and mop almond floor cleaner in wood you guys it's a wood floor cleaner that I got from Grove Collaborative I just showed you earlier and it smells so good and I actually didn't realize it was almond I just saw that it was the wood cleaner and when I started using it I said oh this smells like almond and it smells delicious but it's not overpower overpoweringly sweet it just smells like clean almond wood floor if that makes any sense I do still use my old school mop. I want to get one of those new age mops, you guys. If you have any ideas about maybe a spin mop that you like, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know because I want to get something new, but I don't want to waste my money. And there's so many products out there. Maybe I'll do a review pretty soon, but I just kind of like to stick with what works for me right now, but I am going to be changing up. Oh my God, look at this, you guys. And the sun has gone down on me. I did cook dinner this day. I cooked a pot roast and I'll be showing that to you pretty soon but this was the final product I finalized everything after I cooked dinner so that we can go to sleep with everything looking nice and clean look at that oven you guys it hasn't looked like that since the day we moved in our house I was so proud of this everyone in the house commented that the kitchen looks so nice and of course my husband loves when I clean up look at that floor you guys that is the squirt and mop that I got from Grove Collaborative and it's time for us to go to bed, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Go to everydayandersons.com. That's everydayandersons with an S. Mwah.